I've been getting asked a lot by my viewers what client I've been using and how it is that my character moves around so smoothly. Hi, I'm Pray for Mercy. I'm the guy who makes money making methods every now and then. You might have seen my videos in the past or have never seen my videos at all and if this is your first time, welcome. So if you guys are familiar with the vanilla client and you guys have been wondering what is the best client to use in my own opinion, I use Runelight. This client has everything you need. There are many plugins that you can actually choose from for personal preferences. Now, the vanilla client doesn't actually have anything useful, if you want my honest opinion. It doesn't have anything that can show you the exact spots or locations of drops or whatever it is, a like tile marking, or even show you the GPU rendering. Now, in this video, I'm going to actually show you guys the short form of what you can actually get out of Runelight. Now, I'm not gonna go in depth into it because I don't wanna make it into a full 10, 20 minute video, for example, to show you guys what you should make. Now, you wanna go to runelight.net. There is many phishing sites that are looking for accounts such as yourself with rich accounts that can be hacked. Now you need to watch out for that because if that happens to you, you might lose your account for good and I would feel extremely sad or bad for you guys. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave the actual site on the link in the description down below to show you guys that you guys are going to pick the right site versus a phishing site. Now Runelight has many plugins that you guys can actually see. It's actually phenomenal. Like you just see a bunch of them and it's like overwhelming as hell because you're just like, what the heck is this? How do you even do this? How does this even work? It's pretty simple. There's many guides for that, but if you guys want me to make a full detailed guide, let me know in the comment section below. Now, you have the skill or the XP tracker here that actually, you know, self-explanatory actually shows you XP. You have the Grand Exchange. It shows you what you can, uh, the prices of the items in the Grand Exchange, obviously. You have the World Hopper, which is pretty self-explanatory. shows you the ping of the worlds and also how many people are in the said worlds. Farm tracking is actually amazing because it does help you keep track of your farm patches, herbs, and trees, which is actually very, very useful. You can also look up players in the game, but you can also search up players in the search bar there, or when you're in the game, or the client that is, you can actually right click a player and it says look up, which is extremely useful for anybody who is actually looking for clan members or people are saying something like, oh, I have 112 strength. You know, that's extremely exaggerated. Now there's also a skill calculator which is actually pretty useful for anybody who's trying to level up, trying to find the best way to level up, it actually gives you a full list of details of each stat. Now the big one for anybody who is new is the quest helper. Quest helper will automatically start as soon as you start a quest and show you exactly what you need, the locations you have to be at, and just pretty much it just helps you. You don't have to go to any websites to look it up or YouTube anymore. Now that's actually amazing. Now my favorite part of the video is the GPU rendering. This actually provides smooth gameplay which is pretty awesome for anybody who is playing RuneScape or is tired of seeing, you know, jagged cut lines or lines that are just all over the place. As soon as you turn it on and it turns it all off, it just shows you a smooth experience which you guys can see in the screen right now. I actually have a off mode and an on mode to show you guys the difference. Now also, if you hold Alt, you can actually control any interface that you have on the game, such as, for example, I am actually in, I am in Blast Mine, I can actually move the little icons around. I'm going to hold Alt and actually move these little icons around to show you guys that you actually can customize your own settings, you know, the way you want things to be set up as, like, I like the way I have it, so I'm going to go ahead and put that back. This is actually a most barebone basic explanation. I don't go in depth in this video because I don't want to you know, make you guys watch a 20 minute video, 10 minute video about me explaining each plugin. Now, hopefully you guys like this video, like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And as always, guys, pray for mercy is out and I'll see you guys in the next one.